Hi everyone, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. You might remember, Luke and I did a sample playthrough of the game Pendente when it was still on Kickstarter. If you missed that video, I'll put a link to it in the description of this one. Well, the game has been in production and it's almost ready for wide release. The manufacturer sent over a copy for the publisher to check out, make sure everything was in proper order before it went out. But he also sent us that copy as well, so we could share it with you, the Kickstarter backers, and you'd have a chance to see exactly what your funding has brought to life. But even if you didn't back the game, it's going to be available for retail, you'll be able to purchase it. And everything that you see here, aside from the promo cards that I'll show at the very end of the video, will be available for you to pick up. So consider this a bit of an introduction, especially if you watch that gameplay sampler as well. Now there are three versions of the game, Travel, Basic, and Deluxe. Let's start by looking at the basic version. Pendente is a panda-themed gambling game for two to six players that's all about lying and calling each other out. But it's structured so there isn't as much incentive to fold like you might find in other games like poker. The intention is to keep players involved in the gameplay longer. You can play it casually with no elimination or get real serious and play for keeps. The basic version comes with the six player boards, a 79 card deck, dealer button, and the rule book. You will need to supply your own counters for placing bets, but anything works. You could use pennies or poker chips, for example. Pandas have large paws, so the cards are larger as well compared to, say, a regular deck of playing cards. If you want to get really compact, though, there's also the travel edition of the game. You'll still need some chips or coins for money, but all of the cards are included. Even the player boards have been reduced to a travel size that will fit into the original box. The boards are simply three pieces that you slide together. All right, I saved the best for last. This is the deluxe version. The box itself has a textured leatherette finish, so it's very nice, but let's get inside and see what's there. I probably shouldn't gloss over just how nice this box is. It really is impressive. In the lid, you're gonna find the player boards. They're held in place with these straps. The rule book is here, of course. There's also a bit of foam just to help keep everything in place, but also protect the components because these have been upgraded. The dealer button, for example, is now a plastic instead of the cardboard that was in the basic version. The cards are the same, but now everything is sitting inside of a plastic insert. And probably the most significant upgrade is that we have these professional grade clay poker chips. These come in four different denominations. Let's take a closer look. I really can't do these justice even over video because it's a lot about the texture and feel. But these are 180 very high quality chips. You can also order the chips separately if you want to have more for your game or you just want them for other games that you have. As I mentioned earlier, all of the items you've seen so far will be available for sale outside of the Kickstarter. I'll put a link to the Serlin Games website in the description of this video. That will take you to a pre-order page. And those pre-orders should ship out just as soon as the Kickstarter order ship, which at the time of this recording should be around the end of May 2014. Now, if you did back the Kickstarter, you'll also get these exclusive deluxe challenge cards at the basic level or a set of these blue diamond challenge cards for the deluxe backers. Kickstarter backers will also receive the exclusive Lum Joker, General Onimari Orange Panda Lord, and the Zane Purple 11 card. There's also a regular poker deck available, but in the Pandente style. Now, if you're interested in the game, but the gameplay sampler and even this component overview isn't quite enough information for you, Go to the product link that I'm putting in the description of this video. You can order the digital files for $8 and create your own print and play copy at home. This way you can try the game out and see if it's a good fit for you. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this component overview. I want to thank Serlin Games for sending us along a copy that we could share with you guys visually at the very least. And until the next episode, thanks for watching.